Hello and welcome to this video on how to uh, modify the roof. In this video I will show you how you can uh, cut off part of the roof. For example in this case um, I have um, created the roof if I click on it with the different uh, layers uh, which you can see in the properties. I have the roof tiles, I have the battens, I have distance strips, I have the trusses and then I have uh, two layers of the battens on the inside of the roof. Um, so the part of the roof that will overlap the, ex the external wall will only be the trusses and the distance strips, the battens and then the roof tiles. So what we have on the inside is uh, 2 times 45 millimeters battens with insulation. So I want to cut off this part uh, so it doesn't extend to the outside. If I look in, on the other side, uh, then first I just want to uh, make the lines thinner so I can just uh, see what I'm selecting. And I will do this by clicking on the view menu and then selecting uh, thin lines. And here you can turn on and turn off the, th the thin lines. So to cut off uh, these small parts right here of the buttons, I will use the um, cut profile, also located under the view menu. And then once I have clicked on the cut profile, I will just have to select the part and it will be this one. And I will just use the line just to draw from the bottom end up, or I just put it in an angle of uh, 45 degrees. Hit escape once. And then you need to make sure that the small arrow is pointing to the part that you want to keep. So this one is okay, and then I will just accept it. And now you can see that this part in the bottom has been cut off. And I will do the same with the with the button right here. So again, go to view and select cut profile. And then I will select uh, this button right here. Select the line and draw from this point and then perpendicular to the other point. And again, the arrow is pointing to the part that I want to keep. So I'll just um, accept this one. And now um, the battens will only be shown on the inside of the roof and only the trusses and the roof tiles and so on will be located on the other side. I can do the same, for example, if I want the, um, the roof tiles to extend a bit further than the actually trusses. Um, in this case, I can cut off the last part of the truss. So again, I will go to view and select cut profile. I will select the truss, select the line, and let me just draw, for example, from this point up to here. And again, the arrow is pointing to the part that I want to keep. And then I will just accept this. And I will just do the same with um, the distance strip and also the button up here. So again, go to view, cut profile, select the profile that you want to cut and select the line. And then accept. And then one more time, go to view, cut profile, and select the profile, select the line, and draw from the bottom and up, and accept it. So now you can modify this, you can add the, the roof gullies, for example, by drawing a detail line, um, or you can use a, a family, a 2D family, if you have that in in your library. Also I want to show you how you can uh, modify the external wall. It could be that you want um, the outer leaf to extend a bit further compared to the inner leaf. So you select the external wall and then in properties you select edit type. And um, under structure you will have to select uh, edit and make sure that you set the view to section 
and then click on modify and then if you zoom in then you can snap to the line on top of the of the outer leaf and right here we have a lock um, but let's just click on it so it's open and now click OK and apply and OK and now you actually you can see that you have two arrows so then you can just extend the outer leaf if you click on the arrow and then drag it up so it's up to you how far you want to uh, you want to extend it in this case I'll just add for example one more brick which is uh, 55 millimeters um, but this is just the principle you can also um, you can just select it again if you want for example the inner leaf and the insulation to extend further then you will have to uh, unlock these parts and then lock the the outer leaf so select the edit type and click on edit on the structure select section and click on modify and zoom in and in this case we want to lock the outer leaf and we want to reopen the insulation and also the inner leaf then click OK and apply and OK and now we can uh, move up this part right here